Hello, Randy Rain here, and have you seen these people who put on these bush costumes and then they sit in a planter pot out in public, and when people walk by, they scare them? Well, some of them are pretty good and some of them are pretty funny. Some of them kind of suck. Now, I wanted to do that this Halloween, but I didn't just want to be a person in a bush costume. I wanted the bush to be a costume that is a character, so it needed a mouth, and so Venus flytrap type of mouth thing. So I made my own costume. So the idea is like a Venus flytrap type of mouth, but those are on your hands. So each hand will have part of the flytrap, but it can be camouflaged so that when you sit there like a bush, it looks normal. And then when you put your hands out and together, you create the mouth of this plant. So I'm just making this up as I go along. Mm -hmm.
So here's what I'm starting off with. These are the pants right here. And I know they look like crap, but this is the only the beginning. It'll be painted, stuff added, all that stuff. But I don't really need all of it. So you can see I've already cut a piece here off the bottom of the leg. And so now I need to do it again. I got this thing. Got a few of them. Got them at Joann's. And they were on sale. 60% off. So what I'm going to do. Cut a piece off like that. And go here. That. So it comes and sticks back out the mesh. That way I can take some E6000. Well, I'm doing the front, and I just learned that it unbuttons in the front here. Uh, that's handy. That's a lot easier to get into than the way I was doing it. All right, so here's a common problem here with making something like this. I started putting these little you know, sprouts, little twigs coming in. And the more I put, the better it looked. But then when I got them all done, it was back to looking bad again. Or maybe not bad but still not right. And the reason something doesn't look right like this would be uniformity. If you think when it started off, it was all one color green. That didn't look right. So made it different color green. So that made it look better, but the shape was still off, okay? So I started adding sprouts, which changed the shape. That put it off, but now each one of the sprouts become uniform. There's Sprout, 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 sprout. It's, so that's all now uniform. So now I, I need to change that. Basically, it's, you know, I'll just cut that one. And then this little small one, I'll put over here. Maybe not cut that one as much. I'll cut this one just a little small sprout. Doesn't have to be on the little leaf section. I can put some out here. So I need to make the planter for this thing, and there's no reason for it to be a real planter. Decided to cut up some pieces of wood and make some panels. It's going to be a decagon and it's just going to be straight 90 degrees. I thought about angling it and figuring out the, the angles and stuff for it, but uh, why bother? No one's going to be paying attention to that anyway. It's just 3 8 plywood and I'm putting a big fat strip on top and a thinner strip down the bottom. 
but I did use the modeling program and I 3D printed the exact angle that I need. Then I'm going to laminate some red construction paper onto it. Now, ignore that it's red. It makes no difference that it's red. The only reason it's red is because that's what I have. It's going to get painted anyway. Then use sandpaper to trim the edges. Next, just mix up some acrylic paint. This color right here that I'm creating is called light brown. It's made by taking brown and adding white to it. And then all the boards get painted. And then I'm gonna use my wood graining tool. And there's all kinds of these on the market, but you really want one that can switch over to either side. This one right here is the best one. The way you're going to do it is there'll be paint here. And you'll push the paint like that. And then if you take it and flip it around this way, and do it this direction, you will get a different pattern. Okay, now I just have some watered down black paint. So here's my black wash. One last step. I'm going to take some more of this Mod Podge. And there's not much left. Just dump it in there. Just hit this. In that that's perfect so I said I made this for Halloween and it's not Halloween yet which unfortunately means I don't have any footage of me scaring anybody with it I know I'm sorry it's kind of lame to show you all this and not have the footage to do it but it's not Halloween yet I I don't even know if I can get footage then but I have footage here's what the plant looks like
So yes, I know I need footage of me scaring people with it. I'm working on it. It's not Halloween yet. Anyway, if you like this video, I sure would appreciate a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I want to thank these people. These are patrons. These are people helping me out. These are the people that brought you this plant here that I created. These people bring you all this stuff that I create. Thank them for the videos. And if you'd like to become a patron and help out, there are some perks. There's a link, of course. There's also the super thanks. There's the PayPal donation. Anything that would, you can do would help, I sure would be appreciative. Or you can just keep watching. I appreciate that as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm trying. Bye, 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 bye.